What's up guys? Grim here. The state of the game letter is out or whatever you want to call it. Arconix has released a letter talking about the five years of Rift. Basically the the anniversary is right now of the fifth year of Rift being out and a lot of things are being talked about in this letter. So I'm going to go over what the letter is talking about and tell you my thoughts on it and all that. So there's lots of good news on this. So let's go ahead and go through it. All right, so at the beginning of the letter, he's basically talking about what all has happened over the five years and basically thanking the players for everything that they've done to support the game. You know, you continue playing it and being good customers, so to say. Even with the complaint threads, I imagine that they still see every single one of us customers as very good people. Uh, very much needed for a healthy game to progress. So he talks about since the last anniversary, there have been four major updates to the game, three new tiers of rating, Intrepid Instant Adventures, a new dungeon, Plain Touch Wilds came out, uh, the Primalist Soul has been released, I mean just, uh, or Clash should I say. Uh, yeah, the, basically going over all the things that have happened just in the last year, so to say. All right, and then uh, it gets down to some of the things that are going to be coming up. Now, this is where it gets exciting. He talks about in Rift 3.6, which is going to be called Celebration of the Ascended. Uh, it's going to be releasing in April, and with it is going to be things such as news of additional souls for every calling. Yes, it's going to be another Dream Soul pack or something like that to where we're all going to get new souls for each of our classes. Uh, new daily login reward system. Yeah, I guess Affinity wasn't enough where they're going to give us even more rewards as well as continued PvP improvements. What? Yes, yes. PvP improvements is what I want. That's that's exactly what I wanted here. And I've kind of been in their ear all the time. I never get to talk to Arcanic, so, you know, I'm not that big on the ladder or anything. But I'll send, like, messages to, like, Ocho and a couple of the other Tron people I know and go, Hey, you know, pay attention to PvP. We need some help here, you know, and... uh they're, they're always like, yeah, you know, we're working on it. <laughs> it always feels like they're blowing me off, but they're not. They're not. They're working on it. And uh, let's see. It says that the second half of the update is due to drop late in May. And it contains our second Intrepid Instant Adventure uh, featuring the best of the Mind of Madness. So basically all the new raids that are out right now, we're going to get to play them in an Intrepid Adventure. So... Yeah, it's going to be in Instant Adventures, which is pretty cool because in, before it was in uh, Chronicles with the uh, Ren of Fate and all that. Now it's going to be in the uh, Instant Adventures. So it's going to be interesting how they actually take that on and, you know, make it to where it works with the Instant Adventure. Because naturally you think that uh, Instant Adventures had to be dumbed down so much because, you know, just random people are going to be in it you can't really choose who's going to be in it so if you got like a mechanic that is going to wipe the raid it's really bad for instant adventures so it's i'm wondering how they're going to go with it i'm sure that they got a very good game plan all that stuff um let's see okay now they they talk about how they've ramped up their hiring uh for this upcoming news right here now mind you i have been telling you guys telling you guys that i don't like the changes that have happened but they were needed they were absolutely needed because something is going to be in the works something is coming up there's a reason why they are hiring more people or something or needing more money into the game because they got big things planned that's what i've been telling everybody it's a business they're you know they've got to make enough money to pay all these people so that they can bring amazing things to the game i mean i didn't know about any of this news beforehand none of it none, uh, none of the people that i talked to at tron spoil anything to me so uh i had no idea and whenever uh i would talk to people i would tell them hey you know if you want lag to be improved you want pvp improvements you want all this stuff 
you're going to have to allow them to hire the people to work on this stuff because obviously they're stretched thin. There's nobody dedicated to PvP, uh, like the development of it. They're always working on other class stuff or, you know, other things in the game. I mean, and PvP has always been neglected because they don't have enough people working there. It's not a huge company. So if they're asking for more of our money, as in changing like a small feature such as the earrings, I mean, I don't know anybody that I talked to personally that has used void stones in order to get the earrings. They all paid for it. So that uh, to change it to, uh, to where it's credits only, that was a very small change. It was more about the idea behind it as in, uh, you know, the paywall stuff, but who was using it anyway? I don't know anybody that used void stones in order to unlock the earring slots. So I was saying, look, you know, if they're making something that, something like that that very few people are using void stones on anyway and they're making it into credit only that's not much of a money increase so they're doing it to you know to bring in a little bit more money into the game because new things are coming and then look look at this all right so 2016 is also the year of tech for rift a place where we're going to ramp up hiring uh, well, they've already ramped up hiring, so yeah, these people are needing to be paid. Uh, we're incredibly excited to reveal that the first of our planned updates is the addition of true multi-core support to the Rift client. Multi-core support, uh, I said that like a country person, but uh, multi-core support, yeah, that doesn't sound as bad. Okay, basically, we're having it to where our processors are going to be able to run the game a lot better. Because people like me, we, uh, I have a system that has a really good core processor. So, you know, and it runs on multi-core and all that. So, it... But the thing is, is Rift would only allow my system to use so much of it, like as in a very small amount. That's why people, even with their supercomputers and stuff, they can play Conquest and stuff and it's still lag. I mean, you guys see my uh, PvP, uh, introductory PvP guide that got posted to the Rift of official YouTube. And then whenever I show uh, the CQ fights, I'm lagging some and people are like, oh my gosh, why is this guy being featured on the Rift website if, you know, he, he's showing off laggy footage? I mean, how does that promote the game? The thing is, is Rift ran on a system that, you know, would not allow my processing to be at where it is with other games, so to say. So with this being able to be run with multi-core support, that's going to help a lot. I, I I can't tell you how much this is going to help. Okay, so uh, let's see. It says, um, for those of the less uh, technically savvy, uh, this, or savvy, however way you, you want to say, uh, say it, this will allow Rift to take advantage of more of the capacity of processors released since Rift's launch. Uh, our goal is to improve both the performance and stability of the Rift client. Early stages of alpha testing are already underway and have been going extremely well. Uh, over time, uh, we'll be expanding the test to include more of you, uh, faster performance and more stability for Rift. There's something that benefits everybody. So basically, they are, they've hired all these other people to help improve the game a lot. And, you know, whenever you start talking about like the engineers that are, you know, working on this part of the coding and everything, you're talking about some real serious high paid dudes, I bet. So, yeah, this is going to be a huge improvement to the game, but it gets better because this is such a huge change. We can't give estimates on when it will be ready, but we're pushing hard to make uh, it happen as quickly as possible. Um, we're happy to share that we have been converting Rift to a 64-bit client. It's another massive amount of work that's going to uh, that's going on for a long time now. I'll, uh, it'll multiply the benefits provided by true multi-core support and allow Rift to fully utilize your computer's memory to provide even more performance and stability gains. So. Yeah, huge. Everybody always talks about how Rift runs so bad on their systems. Well, now we're going to have all this stuff going on to where Rift is going to run really good. 
Well, hopefully. I mean, they've got the people working on it. They've really taken huge leaps in working on this stuff. And, of course, they hired a lot more people in order to make this happen. Uh, it's all about uh, Riff making a little bit more money while providing you with a lot better performance, stability. I mean, all these things that we want to work on. Because, you know, if they say, hey, we're going to make it to where you have to pay for the earring slots and we'll have somebody dedicated to PvP development, I'd be like, Phew. sign me up for five of the earring slots. So, yeah, it's it's so much needed man and i've been telling people this this entire time and uh, now mind you i have even had people that i have supported tons like uh take for instance waki waki was a youtuber for a rift and he recently started tweeting at me uh, on twitter and was like hey what do you think about these changes with the earring slots and the wrecks and all that i'm like well you know i don't like it i mean if anything the the uh, change from the wrecks from the referral points, you know how you can't cash in your referral points to uh, get wrecks anymore. That was a huge blow to me because I wasn't one of those people that was hitting up Tron for uh, like codes and stuff like that. I, you know, you watch a Trove live stream and they're giving away something every 30 minutes. They're saying, you want a mount? Here's a code for a mount. You know, try and gave them to me to help me along with my stream and stuff. And you even see people like Intum, whenever he uh, live streams Rift, he's giving away these codes and stuff. You know what? You know who never asked for codes? This guy right here. This guy right here always had... I always used my own way of doing things in order to promote my channel. So whenever you guys would use my referral friend code, like in the description below my videos, I always promoted that. I use those points to get gifts for you guys. I, I used every bit of my referral, pro, of referral points in order to get the Rex to be able to give you guys prizes. All my giveaways were, you know, I mean, there was the rare where I got a code because of like Nightmare Tide launch and people would, met, you know, I try and go here, have some codes, give away some stuff. But almost all of my giveaways for the last two years have been purely from you guys using my referral friend code and me using all my points to get back to you guys. Uh, absolutely none of it was being spent on myself, really. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, that was such a huge blow to me to hear that the the Rex is not going to be offered through the referral friend program anymore. So, uh, you know, uh, I guess now I'm going to have to hit up Tron and say, hey, can I have some codes to give away on my channel? Because my method doesn't work anymore. You know, I didn't I didn't use all your referral points and spend it on myself. I could have I could have took all these points, got all this Rex spend it all on myself and then just ask for codes from Tron. I could have done that. And uh, it would have been A-OK. -okay. Everybody else is doing it. Well, I didn't do that. I was trying to use all my points to give it back to you guys. So, yeah, it was a huge blow to me. So, uh, to get to the point, I was massively hit by that. And then, you know, uh, so the walkie was talking to me on Twitter and he was going... You know, uh, what do you think about the changes? I'm going, I don't like the changes, but they have to be for a reason. Uh, you know, Tron has to be having something up their sleeve if they're needing more money. Either the game is doing bad and it needs more money in order to operate, which I'm all about that. Yeah, let's, let's do that because I want this game to keep going. Uh, or they've got things that they want to improve even more such as what this newsletter is basically saying, and they need a little bit more money for that. I understand. Let's support that. Well, then you had everybody that was such haters. You know, they came in, they just start bashing Tron. You know, they're greedy. They, they're giving us terrible service, all this stuff. And then whenever I told Walkie that, I said, yeah, I'm, I'm moving on from it. You know, it was a massive hit to me, but you know what? I'll be okay. You know, uh, I, I don't know anybody that used void stones on the earring slots. Um, and yeah, let, let's, let's continue to improve the game. And he basically told me off. He, he told me I'm, I'm, uh, since I've worked with Tron, I'm basically blinded. Um, I, I, I don't really, uh, 
basically, I don't have the player's best interest in mind anymore. Uh, that, that's basically what he was saying. He was saying that I'm blinded by working with Tryon. And, um, yeah, that, that was, that sucked because this is a guy that, you know, I've always been very supportive of, you know, uh, whenever things would go bad for him on Rift or something like that, dude, I'm right there with you, man. Uh, I'm there to support you. I'm, you know, I, I came under a lot of heat backing him up at times and, you know, but, you know, and, and I see people making comments in the in the comment section in my videos, too, whenever I talked about, look, these changes aren't that bad and it must be for the betterment of the game. I had people saying my view was uh, wrong and uh, comparing it to doing drugs. And uh, the walkie even told me my point of view is like comparing domestic violence and stuff. And it's like what this is a game no 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 you know why why are you talking like this and you know it's just so much hate filled you know the walkie quit rift because he was really upset with the game and the developers and stuff and i i told him on the twitter i i said you know if you if you pay attention to the company and not the product that they're making any company is going to upset you. If you're looking at everything a uh, freaking, you know, charity is doing, you know, there's going to be things that they're doing that's going to tick you off. Like you're going to go, how much are you paying the, the president of that charity? Well, you're paying them that much, man, I'm not supporting your charity anymore. You know, if you look at the company anywhere you go, pretty much, you're going to be upset at what the company is doing because they're going to be doing things to uh, progress the company in a certain way. And um, I mean, that charity could be doing amazing work out on the field, but the fact that the CEO or president or whatever is getting paid that much money, you know, all of a sudden you're going to be ticked off. It's like that for anything, any business, any, I mean, nonprofit, profit, whatever, you're usually going to be upset at the company running it if you pay attention to every little thing that they do. Instead, you need to focus on what they're doing, the product that they're putting before you. If you don't think that Rift is a good game, you think it's too laggy, you think that there are uh, not enough good things are coming out and all that, don't play it. I mean, you know, I hate to say that. I want more and more people playing Rift. But if you're that upset with the game and you want to be a hater and hate on the game and bring it down, uh, like a lot of you guys seen the recent video from, you know, the EU Raiden Guild, and they're just trying to tear down Rift. They're trying to bring down the game that I love, that many of you love, and, you know, they're on their way out. They're going to World of Warcraft, so they're just looking to tear down Rift. And then they get a lot of you guys, like, supporting them with it. You guys are going, I agree with what they're saying. Well, look at this letter. They're working on tons of stuff. They're trying to get you guys to have a better game. The intention of the company is to make a better game. It would be stupid for them to make a game and say, we're going to just be greedy and tear it down and uh, you guys are just going to pay the bills. No, they're trying to make it bigger and better so more of you guys play and you're happier and more willing to buy things. That's how companies work. I don't know why people don't understand that. Okay, so we're going to go on to the patch notes because I'm going to go over that as well. Um, we went over the whole newsletter and I've went on a big rant because I'm basically able to just point at a lot of you and say, I told you so. All right, so, uh, and I know a lot of you are going to go, you didn't tell me anything. You know, even even the haters, you know, so. Um, okay, some of these things are kind of cool with the changes that just happened. Uh, as part of the efforts to improve the Rift economy, we're increasing the cap on currency to free players to 5,000 Platinum. That is something that they should have done whenever they released the, uh, um, where uh, you couldn't get the earring slots. You know, that should have been in the same patch, but they're fixing it afterwards. So you can't hate on them too much. You got you to gotta go. You guys should have done that at the same time, but you're fixing it. Okay, that's cool. Um let's see here uh they say that it's experimental so it can change you know they might reduce it down they might you know they're seeing how it goes all right so um what is it oh yeah they made it to where the earring slot unlocks since it's now a credit pay only thing it unlocks on all of your characters across your account 
they fixed a major uh, memory leak problem that was causing instability. I'm sure a lot of you guys were having crashes in Rift. I know I have been. I've been having extra lag lately and all that. So hopefully this memory leak will uh, fix a lot of that. Uh, let's see, they made it to where uh, the raids, you know, a lot of the raids have become... Uh, well, no, no, that's a dungeon, actually, uh, the the canyon dungeon. Uh, I recently got to talking to Discordia, and uh, she, yeah, okay, here it is. This, is, whenever I talk to people, I take notes, okay, so, um, okay, so, uh, yeah, right here, right at the bottom, new dungeon is too hard. That is basically me taking notes of what Discordia had to tell me, and I'm, I'm wanting to send those messages to try on people. And uh, that was one of the things that was really pointed out, is that nobody is doing the new dungeon in the uh, Plain Touch Wilds because it's too hard. The rewards are not good enough, all that good stuff. So, yeah, they're, they're, it obviously needed tweaked, and they just made it to where it's a lot easier. Um, I'm assuming that's the canyons. I don't I don't ever do dungeons or raids, so I just try to listen to people. If I'm completely off on that, I'm sorry, but uh, I think the canyon one there is the new dungeon. All right, so, and then the Mine of Madness, they made it to where uh, that is a little bit easier. So, yeah, good stuff. Um, all right, so that's basically the review and a rant, and then another review of the patch notes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, I'm sorry, but if you did, hit the thumbs up button. Don't hit the thumbs down button if you didn't like it, because I criticize a lot of people in this. <laughs> I'll get a lot of thumbs down from people if uh, you guys take it too personal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.